Right, so how can we add multi step form to unbounce? So let me start from scratch. <coughs> okay. So step one, we drag the form in, we select the fields. Okay, anything, anything. <clears throat> okay, I will just change this one to submit. But it's up to you. You can leave it should you wish. And I will bring it up. Okay. Okay, first I will drag it a little bit below, like a bit down. Because I want to leave a space for the progress bar. And I will bring the submit here. You'll understand why later on. So I'll bring it here. Then we'll create, then we'll drag another button. Okay, and I will call this one next. And then I will drag another one and call it um, back, for example. Okay. <clears throat> now we have next, now we have back. You can adjust both of them should you wish, however you want. You can also play with the size here. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem at all. I'll just try to make it here. And it's better to add it underneath the first element. Now you need to add the third step probably would be to add multi-step form, okay, from here. Click JavaScript, create another one. But I already have one, so I will choose the one that I already have. You give it a name. If you don't, okay, like if, if this is the first time for you to do it, then you go to the JavaScript and add a new one. Okay, let me do it actually that way. So I will remove this one. Okay. I will create another one. Multi step or pro. I'll just give it that name. And I will copy paste this code. Now we need to pay attention to two things actually. Number one is the ID for the next, the same with the back, as well as the progress bar. You have you mean you need to make sure that the progress bar is true. It's not false, it is true. Okay? So how can we get the ID for the next and for the back? Let me show you. For the next we click on the next, you show it here. Then we scroll down, it's two zero two. And for the back, it's 203. Okay. So for the next, it is 202. For the back, it is 203. Okay. Okay. Before I click done, actually, I will remove this one. <coughs> okay. And another step is to create another thing here in the style sheet which is the second code actually copy then paste okay and we click done but again I will remove this one oops okay click done so now we have everything um, we click save and by the way, I will add these. Um, I will upload these codes uh, if it's on YouTube. So I will try to upload it as it is in the description. Um, so I, yeah, if the place where this video will be uploaded to supports Word documents, then I will upload it as Word document. Now let's preview it. Okay. Oops. Something wrong happened. Okay, so let me go back. Let me check what happened. So we said this is two zero two, two zero three. Not sure what happened. Okay. okay. 
Okay, so the next is two zero two and the back is two zero three. Click done, click save. Uh, let me double check. This one should be there as well. Okay, good stuff. Uh, next, then preview. Yeah, here we go. So, your email at gmail.com. Next, okay. Then your first name. Next, last name, next, phone number. Uh, probably it will. <clears throat> I'll have to put North North American one because I said here that I need to verify it for North American numbers. So let me change this. Oh, for the phone numbers, I will say don't validate. Just keep it as it is. Okay. <coughs> so let's hit preview again one more time. Your email. First name. Last name. Okay. So that's why I put the submit here. You get it? So basically next time I would need to make sure that I drag it down a little bit. Okay? If it was it was if it was in the, in its original place, then you would have found it here. And then whatever country let's choose United Kingdom and then click submit. All good. Okay? And that was everything. Thank you.